you just about ready for bed? No, I'm not either. <laughs> I know some really good ways to get all relaxed and ready for a restful snooze. <laughs> Would you like to see some? <laughs> okay, so one of the first things that is really helpful when you're trying to sleep, well, after having comfy jams on, for one thing, <laughs> these are my favorite super soft sweatpants. So if you're not already comfy and cozy, maybe you should run and get something more comfortable on. Yeah, whatever that is. Could be fuzzy socks or an old sweater. Could be your birthday suit. <laughs> I know lots of people who like to sleep that way. Or it might be some old PJs like mine. So, the next thing that I want you to get ready, uh, it always helps to have your atmosphere in order, so make sure you've got your soft blanket laid out on the bed, and maybe you have a big pillow like this one. I know you've laid your head on my pillow before, <laughs> but I don't think it was as fuzzy as this one is. Isn't that nice? Super satisfying to scratch and very fun and fluffy for smushing. But whatever kind of pillow you have, <laughs> large or small, fluffy or no, Maybe you should give it a nice poof and uh, get it propped up under your neck. I've been, uh, I've been trying to teach myself to sleep on my back. It's been really difficult because I'm a short, I have a super silly amount of pillows around me trying to wedge me into position. you like to be cozy wherever you put your pillows, uh, why don't you get yourself nice and situated, adjusted, okay? Okay, so my favorite pillow is the one I kind of scrunch and squish under my neck and then I lay my head to the right side on it. really nothing better than 
cover yourself with Just some lavender pillow spray and lavender. <laughs> lavender is really, really nice for relaxation. are both kind of old school examples, but I bet you've smelled lavender before, and I bet you've been relaxed by it. <laughs> so, you've got your pillow as soft as it can be. It is fluffed up. It is ready for action. <laughs> now, the next step is going to be to relax your body completely. So, if you are cozy and comfy, if you have your head on your pillow, you have your pajamas on, then I'm gonna help you. <laughs> I'm excited to help you um, wiggle your body around, loosen things up, and let some tension go. Mm. So, 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 we're gonna start from the bottom up, <laughs> a little counterintuitively, but there is so much that goes on in your feet, especially in your arches, um, but all of your foot, incredibly enough, connects to something in the rest of your body. So we're going to think about our arches, and um, it's believed, I guess at this point it's, it's documented, that if you can loosen things up here, it actually loosens up your airways, makes it easier 
for you to breathe. you can make little fists with your feet, which always makes me think of a die hard. Leave me a comment if you love die hard as much as I do, please. You can make little fists with your feet, or wiggle them this way and that. Maybe they're already under the covers, that's okay. Then you're gonna start gradually tilting your angle, ankles, <laughs> tilting the angle of your ankles, left, right, back, back. Feel the relaxation spread. Try to loosen your kneecaps and then Feel the tension release spreading up, up, up your thighs, along your hamstrings, and you might have to wiggle your bottom a little bit. <laughs> it's always good to wiggle, especially if you're already uh, in bed. This might be a challenge, but you can. And you can just try to uh, let go in your hips, which is where just loads of stress and tension are held. Um, I always feel tightness right here unexpectedly. You can release through your abs. You might want to tilt your pelvis up and down. And you're gonna keep tracing that relaxation up, up, up your spine until you're able to rotate your shoulder blades back so you're giving yourself a nice firm support in bed and nice. That's a hard one for me. <laughs> you can follow the relaxation with each progressive exhale as you relax down, down, down your arms. Circle those wrists. Even when you're feeling frustrated, know you need to rest, but you can't. You're stressed already about tomorrow, but your mind won't let the issues that you're working on go. Your brain is still trying to solve problems, even when you want to turn it off. <laughs> That's okay. just shows how hardworking you are, how dedicated you are, how much you care, and those are never bad qualities. <laughs> so, we've got nearly our entire body relaxed, which is awesome. The last step here is to Take a big breath in, and as you exhale, I want you to stretch out your neck inch by inch. Get the full extension of your neck and 
Feel yourself relax your muscles back, back from the jaw. I have a strong jaw and it's always tense right here. Feel all that tension and stress melt away. Back, back, back. That's so good. You're doing so well. <laughs> the last thing that you can do, if you like, you can relax the muscles of your face. And you might not realize how much you're holding on to in your cheekbones, in your sinuses, in your forehead, you can just relax, relax, relax. You can let go, let go, let go. I just have a couple quick affirmations for you before you go to sleep. You really did a wonderful job, and I'm so proud of you. You are wonderful. You are kind. You are important and deserving of rest. Thank you for falling asleep with me today. I'll see you again soon.